to the storage unit and one of our favorite songs came on. So it's a good morning so far. We're at the storage unit today because we have to pick up the, uh, what are we, we're picking up the microwave. We already have the trim kit in the truck and we have to pick up the microwave because they're going to install it on Monday. Oh, happy day. Oh, no. Okay. Folks, we are at it Lowe's today because we didn't, I didn't film inside Bull's Pen where we ate breakfast and then we went to Fenton Hyundai because there was apparently a nail in the tire of my car. And so now, Marvin and I, there's Marvin. He's getting us apart. We are at Lowe's because we need to look for blinds. And we're gonna look at washer dryer and who knows what else. So we're just looking for a plain washer and dryer. But here's the problem. So I don't think that we want a front loader this time, but this, this, this is a top loader. But watch. Here, show them, show them, honey, as I try to, I'm gonna show you guys the problem. So, this is me, I'm doing, I'm doing laundry. I'm do, hang on, I'm doing, I'm doing laundry. Yeah. That's all right, you, I'll get you. It's like, I need like a, you know, I'll, like a, I'll get you a stool that you can it, but stand But honey, it's like, it's like I need like a, like a. That's all right, I'll get you a ladder and, and the ladder go inside. <laughs> So I told him if there's like seriously like a sock or something, I wouldn't be able to reach. You know, like, like, could almost, almost reach, but not quite. So guys, we have decided on a washer and dryer and we're gonna have it delivered. Just trying to, Pedro is helping us. Vote for Pedro. And he has an awesome like uh, handlebar mustache working action going on I'll have to try to show you in a minute if he will be on camera maybe he won't want to be on camera who knows but so this is what we decided we're getting this it is a top loader it has an agitator and I can reach the bottom can you see me reach it can you can you see me reach in the bottom I can so that's great and it is a 4.2 cubic foot top loading washer with deep water wash and you can you can do like a, a king size comforter which we have a king size bed so that will work out great uh, we're not actually going to have a comforter anymore we're just having a bed spread but still we'd be able to wash it and then this is the dryer and it is a matex seven cubic cubic foot electric dryer with wrinkle control option uses 40 minutes of extra tumbling after the cycle has ended i don't know what that means but anyway so, um, yeah, it's, it's nice and it's new. We're going to be selling the old ones pretty cheaply. So if you're on my Facebook, you might be able to catch them at a pretty good price because we're basically just trying to get rid of them. And yeah, so I'm excited about that. So one thing down and then we had stopped by Fenton Motors to get the tire looked at because apparently I ran over a nail and Larry, who is our guy was not there. He moved to Massey Cadillac. Yeah. That that's Pedro right there. He's he's our sales guy. He's the one with the mustache. So yeah. Anyway, let me talk to him now. We have successfully purchased a washer and dryer today. Now, Mr. Har and I are at Best Buy because we're gonna be looking for TV mounts and TVs. So we'll see what we'll buy today. Okay, it has started misting outside in anticipation of some full-on rain, I'm sure. And Marvin and I have not purchased anything, but we got a ton of information. I've got a ton of research to do, and now we're gonna go get something to eat. Marvin is inside the post office, and he's checking my P.O. box. It's actually our P.O. box because it's for the house, but it's also for like some of our bills because, like for example, the water. We started water service, and they're like, oh, you know, where do you want to send the bills to? And I'm like, we don't have the mailbox up yet at the new house. And it doesn't have to be, I don't want to, I don't want to change the address like a, well, I guess it really wouldn't be changing it any more times than regular, but still, I think I'm going to have almost all of our mailing stuff go to the um, house. I mean the PO box. 
I don't know. I guess I need to ask Marvin. Anyway, whatever. I'm having him check the P.O. box. And, oh, he's got stuff in it. We just came from Arby's. Now we're going to go home and get all cozy because it's yucky outside. We are back at Tum Thumb. He's right there. They have these four deals where you have to buy four things to get it for this price. So, like, for example, you buy four Cottonelles and you get them for $5.99 instead of $6.99, regular $9.99. So, Marvin has picked up two of those. I picked up three cornflakes, Kellogg's cornflakes. So, we need like, has to be in groups of four though. You can't just buy three, you have to buy at least four. So now, I'm sure we'll find something else to buy. Detergent. But detergent, oh, we do, but detergent, yes. Anyway, that's what we're doing at Tumblr today. When my kids were little, and when they were babies, we used to have to wash everything in dressed or ivory snow, but it was the powder. And now it's like, like regular liquid. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Now we're at home, Marvin is outside, and I think he's changing out that cabin air filter or something. I'm gonna tackle that big mess. You guys, it's almost out of control. But, um, excuse me, I'm trying to, I feel like a burp is like right here. Like, I don't know, you ever felt that? And it wants to come up, but it hasn't. So we have leftovers. We're gonna have leftovers for dinner tonight. We had Arby's for lunch. We had Bull's Pen for breakfast. So we need to slow down on the eating out, if you know what I mean. But I've gotta get through this. <clears throat> I am super excited though that we purchased the washer and dryer. So I'm gonna list our current um, couch and chair, and we're gonna be ordering a chair I mean, a sofa and a love seat because we measured out today. We discussed everything today. We measured it out. We are good to go. So we're going to order the um, sofa, the love seat, the bed, the one nightstand, and I guess the mattress. And I don't know what else. I do not know what else. I'm, I need to I need to make a list. So anyway, what I'm saying is, even though it's not even five o'clock in the afternoon, we're gonna have to call this vlog over for today. If I do something fun and exciting, I will catch you guys up, but I don't think, we don't have anything planned. There is a uh, film tonight, an indie film tonight up at the square. I really did wanna go, but the weather and that pile on my couch like that I gotta get this done you know what I'm saying I gotta get this done and clean because in theory closing on the house on Thursday by Friday we should be able to start moving in and that'll be exciting I honest to God like Thursday after we close if we've got the CO I'm literally going to start moving over at least uh, one carload full of stuff like mostly our clothes so um and it's like lisa calm down but no i can't i can't calm down can't stop won't stop hashtag so um that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take at least a car load full of clothes and shoes over <coughs> and then maybe we'll try to break down the bed we were gonna get help moving but i'm kind of thinking we can move some of this ourselves also on Monday, so here's here's the deal. Let me give you the lowdown. Today's Saturday. We're not probably going to do anything else this weekend except go to church tomorrow. I uh, don't have any plans tomorrow afternoon. I'm literally just going to try to get this mess caught up and meet a plan of action. I also need to list some of the, those, this couch and love seat or chair and a half that we have right now. I need to list that. And then I'm going to see the other stuff that we're going to list because we don't need the refrigerator. Marvin wants to take it for the garage, but I'm like, we really don't need the extra room. We just really don't need the extra room. We could just make better space of the room that we have. So, um, <clears throat> going to list the refrigerator, going to list the sofa and the chair and a half. And we have some bookcases that are going to go. And 
possibly those three stools, the um, bar stools are gonna go. And I've gotta see the stuff that I need to order for my office. The furniture, if we order it, even if we order it today or Monday, they said it was gonna take minimum 10 days, minimum. So we're looking at the following week, but we don't plan on living there until the following week, so that'll be fine. So coming up this week though, Monday, the electrician's gonna be there and they're gonna be installing the microwave and the oven and the cooktop. And then on Tuesday or Wednesday, the carpet should be in. On Wednesday, the appraisal's happening. I believe also on Wednesday or Thursday, the CO is happening and or they're calling for their final inspections. And um, Tuesday also is when the sod's supposed to be going in. And um, Thursday we close on this house, the Mulberry house, we close on this one. And so then Friday, if we have the CO and everything's cleared, we're going to start moving a couple car loads over. We'll still sleep here, probably at least through the weekend. I don't know that we'll go to the new house uh, before then, but we might. And oh, and our new washer and dryer coming in on Wednesday, coming in hot on Wednesday. So um, we'll have those installed and um, got those from Lowe's though. And then what else? Friday, I feel like I'm, see, I feel like I'm missing something. You guys ever do that? I just feel like I'm missing something. So I need to write down what I need to order. I need to write down what's going on, what day, what time, when, where, how, who. Monday, we're gonna try to go and buy the new TV and I've gotta research the Roku and the, the Sling and the Hulu Live and the Philo and the Milo and the Milo. Yeah, I got all kinds of things to happening and I feel like, Wah! but it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing and in two weeks time we'll be in the new house settling down so this little mad rush at the very end will be over anyway i just spent five minutes telling you all that to tell you i'm probably not going to record anything else tonight tomorrow will probably be kind of a slow day as well but i can catch you up on my list because by tomorrow Here's my, oh, you guys can be my accountability part. Tomorrow I'll have the list ready and I can share that with you guys just so you know that I'm on track, but I will see you tomorrow. Bye.